the sound of the night. Alrighty guys, well welcome back to Mandy Energy with none other than me, Mandy! Yes! 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 So today, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a review of GR Euro Sound Volumes 1 and 2 by Roberto Gabrielli. Now, when I was initially playing this video, I was thinking I was going to split these reviews into two different videos, Volume 1 and Volume 2. But, as there's only three songs per digital album for download, it's kind of like, why not? Plus, I've been listening to all six songs, or three and three, making six, because we do great math here. When I'm alone, I count myself. I've been listening to these six songs quite a bit recently. I feel like I have a pretty heartfelt, solid perspective on each and every track. But before we get into the review, gotta do the YouTuber spiel because analytics and numbers and clout, I guess. Not really. If you're new here, once more my name is Mandy and I welcome you to my channel, Mandy Energy. And if you would be so inclined before you leave, you might want to give the video a thumbs up. You might want to hit that subscribe button, which is going to be down in this lower hand corner here. And write a comment down below telling me what you think of this video when all is said and done. Moving into the content. Okay, so before we get full on headfirst into this video, a couple of things need to be noted, outlined, put in place here. One, Roberto Gabrielli is a producer that has been involved in Eurobeat pretty much from the get-go. He did some late Italo disco, early high energy stuff, and pretty much continued, be it with Time Records, High Energy Attack, Asia, Delta, now with his own label, or his own self-publishing label, just continuously. He's been involved for 30 years, just the math, the decades, the time. In 2018, he released two, one, two, Two. I count count until I mini digital download albums. These albums are available on Juno, I believe Bandcamp, and another place that's es it's escaping me, it's eluding me right now. Each album has three songs. He has GR Eurosound Volume 3 currently being produced, being worked on, which will be released, I'm believing, I'm assuming, sometime this summer 2019. So let's get into the actual review, shall we? Yes. So before I get going on rating the songs, let me explain the rating system. I'm doing a one to five here. One being, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know how better to phrase it. I don't like it. Five being, the song is absolutely fantastic. It is great. You should go listen to it right now. Spoiler! They're all really, really good. I'm lame. So let's get into GR Eurosound Volume 1. First track on this digital download being Bye Times 3 or Bye 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 by Alina Ferretti. Everybody knows who Alina Ferretti is that listens to Eurobeat. You can possibly not, not know who she is. She is the wonderful vocalist that's been involved with Time Records for eons, singing all sorts of fantastic tracks. She has a very soothing, calming, beautiful voice, known for more, as the Japanese would call, an Aishu style Eurobeat. Everyone knows who Alina Ferretti is, and for once, it's under her real name, so it makes it extra easy, doesn't it? Bye Times 3 or Bye Bye Bye. Bye Bye Bye. Bye 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 is a really fun, really upbeat Eurobeat song with Alina's vocals on it. You know, I don't actually have much to say about it other than it is really a lot more energy than I would expect from a song that she is singing. I've always liked Alina Freddy's voice. I think she's incredibly talented, but I can't say that her songs constantly have a consistent energy that I, for one, really gravitate toward. This is one of my favorite songs with Alina Ferretti's vocals on it, especially because of the energy behind everything she does in the song. It is fantastic. 
And if you have not heard this song, it's a genuine masterpiece with her vocals hard at work. I give it a solid 5 out of 5. I, I don't know. Like I, I have no critique for this song. It was, other than the title, the by X3, just visually, word-wise, not my cup of tea, but we're nitpicking. We're nitpicking. It is a 5 out of 5. Great song. Alina, do more facts. Track number two on volume one is Old Boy by Ken Laszlo, or Old Boy, Get Out of My Schemes by Ken Laszlo. Gianni Corini, one of the classic Eurobeat singers, Italo disco masters, and incredibly talented, incredibly singularly voiced vocalists I can possibly think of in any music genre. You cannot confuse this guy's voice. This is Ken Laszlo. This is Gianni Corini. I, for one, have always been a huge fan of Ken Laszlo and Ken Laszlo's voice. This is a good song, but is it his best song? Is it one of Roberto's best tracks? You know, it's solid. Let's put it that way. It is worth listening to. It's a fun song. It is definitely a Eurobeat track coming from a different angle that you are not expecting. It doesn't sound like anything else recently done that I can readily think of. Old Boy, Get Out of My Schemes is a thoroughly enjoyable Eurobeat song, but I can't argue from either perspective. It is the best, be it for Gianni Corini or be it for Roberto Gabrielli. A good song, a solid song, definitely a more unique sounding Eurobeat track. It will stand out to you. This much, I promise. You will not walk away from this song expecting to hear something just like it moments later. The way Gabrielli uses the synth hooks in this, it's very singular. I don't know how better to phrase it. I'm not a musician. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not a musician here. No, no, no. But there's something very singular that is done with the synths and with the synth hook, especially leading into the chorus and leading out of the chorus, that it'll catch your ear. I give Old Boy Get Out of My Schemes by Ken Laszlo a 4 out of 5, solid Eurobeat track, definitely above average. Moving on to track 3, Dance Around the Fire by Sue. Dance Around the Fire is a fun Eurobeat song, but my thoughts on this are a little bit mixed. I've been re-listening to these two albums quite a bit, today, a week ago, and before that. Here's the problem I have with Dance Around the Fire, is that when I'm listening to it, it's good. It's a good song. I mean, it, it doesn't feel like a waste of time by any means. But the problem is there's some element that is missing from it. I like Eurobeat songs by male vocalists that are super powerful, that have a lot of energy. <laughs> we got energy jokes here. Dance Around the Fire lacks that energy that I really would like to hear, and it lacks that power I would expect from this song. Vocals are, <laughs> Vocals are well done on this song. The music is well produced, but there's something missing, and again, I'm not a music producer, there's some sort of kick that is missing that I wish was there. That's all I can say about that. It is a good song, it is a fun song, I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Moving on to GR Eurosound, Volume 2, we start the album off with Doctor on Crazy for Love by Andrea Delfino. Andrea? Andrea Delfino. I don't know what to say about this song. Where do I begin with Doctor I'm Crazy for Love? It's playing behind me. It's very hard not to dance. I really want to move. Just, yes. Doctor I'm Crazy for Love is a really fantastic production. I don't know what else to say to you. I can have my own criticisms, but Doctor I'm Crazy for Love is a very solid, well-made Eurobeat song. It reminds me of, um, oh crud, what is it called? Mary, I Love You From My Soul. Doctor I'm Crazy for Love is fantastic. This is a well-made song. Andrea Delfino sings the song beautifully. I don't, I, I don't know what to say. If we want some neurotic criticisms, 
I'm confused by the lyrics. They, they have this repetition of the word water. It actually just happened in the background. I'm sure you can't hear it. They go water, water, wo wo water. And I, I don't know why. I'm over here confused. But you know what? It's Eurobeat. You know what? I don't care. I love this song. I, I don't know if it's fun so much as it's just really, really well produced and well made. I quite enjoy this track. And if you have not heard it, you should go and you should listen to it. Because it's fantastic! You, you probably could have already guessed the rating here. Five out of five for me on this one. We are going to move on. To Sound of the Night by Demo. Song number two on GR Euro Sound Volume 2. How redundant is this video? Is Demo, The Sound of the Night. Oh. My. God. I love this song. When I listen to Eurobeat, especially Eurobeat by male vocalists, I like songs that have a harder, heavier guitar sound, lots of energy, lots of just fast synthesizers. I can't speak. I'm, I don't know what it's called in dance music. I don't know what it's called in Eurobeat, but they have a sound that makes them heavier to the ear. It has a very strong bass, has a lot going on with instruments. I really don't know how to describe music. Why am I reviewing this? Yes! The Sound of the Night is, no lie, no question, one of my new all-time favorite Eurobeat songs. I was going through, catching up on a bunch of different newer Eurobeat. And like I said, GR Euro Sounds Volume 1 and 2 is from 2018. I heard this song the first time and I kept repeating it probably 20 times more. Possibly more. I simply love this song. I cannot unhear it. It is on pretty much every recommended playlist I get on YouTube. I've listened to it so much. I, I love this song from the bottom of my heart. This is perfect Eurobeat to me. This is a fantastic track. Vocals are on point. Chorus is on point. Lyrics are fun, easy to sing along with. Yeah, they're a little, just like silly, a little sexualized silly. But that's Eurobeat, you know, like, get with it, have a fun, I don't know. This is what Eurobeat was made and meant to be. So, this, if, if Doctor I'm Crazy for Love and Bye 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 or Fives, this has to be beyond five out of five. I don't know how to read this song. This is just like a five plus 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 plus. I know I'm flailing my arm around a lot, but I'm trying to make a point. And this arm's just sitting here doing that. And the final track we're talking about today is High Five Baby Guys by Claudio Magnani. When I first heard High Five Baby Guys, I wasn't keen on it. Of all these songs, it was probably the least I was drawn to. That's probably gonna blow a lot of people's minds. They're listening a couple of times. I actually really, really like the song. It grew on me. I really like Claudio's vocals in this. I think it they're well done. I like the production in general. I think the music is... <laughs> it's really well executed. That's all I can really say. It's well executed. The bigger issue I have with this song is I don't understand the notion of High Five Baby Guys. What does this mean? Good song. It did take a few plays to grow on me, but I quite thoroughly like it. You know what? Th thumbs up there as well too, right? I'm giving High Five Baby Guys another 5 out of 5. These are two really well made mini digital download albums. They're well produced, well executed, vocals from the singers are very well... <sighs> Why am I this way? These songs are well produced and well mixed, and all of them, in one way or another, are quite enjoyable to listen to. The best way I can phrase some of these songs as far as sound, sort of aesthetic, or the presentation, is maybe mid to late 90s high energy attack feel and granted Roberto Gabrielli was working at high energy attack in the mid 90s so just a few thoughts there neither of these albums will let you down they are both well made well produced and excellent and with volume 3 just around the corner in summer 2019 you might want to catch up on GR Eurosound volumes 1 and 2 and go check them out for download, go listen to them on YouTube. I think that's all we have to discuss here today. Alrighty guys, well thank you very much for watching. You know, go check out these songs. These are fantastic. I'll have links down below. If these are two samples of what could potentially be 
volume three is going to be fantastic. Alrighty guys, well that wraps up this video. This review of GR Euro Sounds Volume 1 and 2 with Volume 3 coming summer 2019, courtesy of Roberto Gabrielli. I don't know how many times I've said the man's name in this video, but it's been a lot. Magic. Keep it classy and I'll I'll catch you in the next video.